So what makes a good problem statement here? The problem statement introduces the key problem that is addressed in the research project. The problem statement is here clear, precise, and short statement of the specific issue that a researcher wishes to investigate. Let's move further and understand the three criteria for problem statement that a researcher should keep in mind. It should be relevant, it should be feasible, and it should be interesting. So research, if it is relevant, it has nothing is known about the topic. Or it, if much is known about the topic, but the knowledge is scattered, research is relevant if much, much research on the topic is available, but the results are contradictory. <laughs> Lastly, if established relationship do not hold in certain situations. A problem statement is feasible if you are able to answer the problem statement within the restrictions of the research project. These restrictions are possibly related to time, money, and expertise of the researcher. Thus, it is important that you develop a narrowly defined question that can be investigated with a reasonably amount of time and effort. Then comes the problem statement if it is interesting because research is time consuming process and you will go through many ups and downs before you present a final version of your research report. It is therefore vital that you are interested in the problem statement that you are trying to answer so you can stay motivated throughout the entire process. Let's discuss certain examples of a broad problem area that a manager could observe at the workplace. So training programs are not as effective as anticipated. The sales volume of a product is not picking up. Minority group members are not advancing in their careers. These are the broad problem areas where the newly installed information system is not being used by the manager for whom it was primarily designed. Also, the introduction of flexible working hours has created more problems than it has solved in many companies. So to what extent do the structure of the organization and type of information system installed account for the variance in the perceived effectiveness of managerial decision making? This should be a proper well-designed statements. That means to what extent has the new advertisement campaign been successful in creating high-quality customer-centered corporate image that it was intended to produce. Next problem statement could be how has the new packing affected the sales of the product? What are the effects of downsizing on the long-range growth patterns of the companies? And considering all these, you'll be then able to design your problem statement uh, and the questions.